Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Right on. Uh, well, thank you for taking some time here to join us, the Toddcast podcast in Vancouver, Canada. Thank you so much for having uh, me. Yes. And as mentioned uh, in my email to you, I absolutely love what you're doing with your uh, your Instagram account. So it's rockangel underscore, if anybody wants to follow along. Like you were posting the best videos, some like incredible covers uh in the last little while like you've done some stuff with like miley miley cyrus you did parliament funk uh you did a yeah. really good job of a no doubt song yes. um how much do you drum every day to like clearly you need to be playing a lot to have you know your chops thank you yeah um i play for a couple hours every single day so um Normally when I'm planning out a video from when I get the idea of what to make a video of mm. um, until like it's recorded and finished, um, you know, it can take me about, I would say, depending on the song and how much of the song I do, like if I do a full cover, it can take me a couple hours to learn the song. Sure. Um, if I'm doing just like a little short Instagram cover, um, that will take me normally like I would say an hour, hour and a half to learn, you know, depending on like how technical it is. Right. Um, but and, yeah, and to answer the question, I drum for anywhere from like three hours to upwards of like five, six hours a day normally. So it's like it's like a job, you know, it's like you need to be <laughs> playing a job to be, to be that good. So, so how do you pick the covers in? Because clearly you want to be able to obviously you know, surprise your, your friends and your fans, your followers, right? It, it can't be something like, oh, of course, Brooke's going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, definitely a lot of my cover inspiration comes from whatever I'm listening to lately. Yeah. Um, so I listen to all types of music. I mean, definitely my roots are in like rock and roll and metal. Um, but I listen to everything like the funk music, like the more pop Miley Cyrus stuff. Um, and an alternative, like no doubt, like those things that you had mentioned. Um, but yeah, so when I choose my covers, I really just want to make sure it's something that I enjoy playing and that I have fun with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So normally it's just whatever I'm listening to at the moment is what I do a cover of. Right. And and when did you start drumming? And like, so who are some of your, your like your favorite drummers? Did, did you catch you that? There? Yeah, I'm there. You cut out a lot. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I was saying, when did you start drumming and, and who are some of your favorite drummers? I started drumming when I was like five years old. Um, and growing up, I listened to a lot of Godsmack, Led Zeppelin, Tool. Wow. Um, so, of course, Shannon Larkin, Danny Carey, John Bonham. Um, those are like, I would say probably like my top three biggest influences. Um, but I well, also... So is that something really like your, your, were your parents playing that music? Like, how did you at five like how are you playing to godsmack and like you know what I mean like <laughs> yeah it um a lot of that inspiration came from my parents just because that's what they listened to and that's what they would play like around the house and in the car and that sort of stuff yeah that's rad <laughs> so you didn't lose your muse then like so to speak over the the quarantine time in in the pandemic you clearly embraced what we've all had to kind of endure yeah definitely yeah. um it definitely gave me a lot of time like the quarantine and pandemic gave me a lot of time to um really hone in on a lot of my skills and technique and that sort of stuff so yeah and and, and so when you look back and like if you start to play it at five years old that's that's pretty young that's that that's really young what what's your first like memory of anything to do with music my first memory um I remember there was one time I was like 
playing and this was like when I first got like my drum my little mini first act drum kit I asked for it for Christmas and Santa delivered it he he came through um (laughs) so I remember I was like five or six and I was just like you know playing like the beat of we will rock you like you know like the yeah just because like you know that was like easy and like when you're just starting out that's like the easiest thing to play um and I remember I'm just like playing that and like my mom comes like dancing into it and it was so funny that's awesome she she grew up in like a really uh big musical house then yeah so my parents they're not musicians themselves but they have always loved and appreciated music right and so, so so what was the like what's what's the first show that they bring you to like what was your first first concert uh godsmack and seven dust That's when amazing. i was 12 years old <laughs> oh my god and seven dust drummer is just a monster as well like both yes. of those guys are killer players for sure yeah and and so what stands out from that first night seven dust and godsmack it's insane I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? You're like cutting it out. Am I cutting it? Yeah, I'm just saying like, what what a crazy show to be at. Like what what stands out from that night of like Seven Dust and Godsmack at the same time? Oh my gosh, it was, I mean, it was just crazy because one, it was my first concert ever. Um, But one thing that like I distinctly remember is like feeling the kick drum in your chest so much. It was like, you know like you were almost like coughing sometimes because you felt it that much yeah yeah that's awesome yeah. and how old are you for that <laughs> how how old were you for that i was 12 years old okay so young you're a little kid yeah 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 okay so i i, I don't generally ask this but i'm i'm curious because of the amount of uh genres that you cover that you cover on your instagram account so mm-hmm the impossible question of the three albums you need if you're stuck on a deserted island oh that is tough um so for starters i'm gonna have to go with definitely a led zeppelin album i'm trying to think of which one though because i love all of them I was going to say physical graffiti. I might but it might be this. It might I think it might be physical graffiti or Houses of the Holy. Yeah. I like that album a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder um, if they I wonder if they would be even bigger had Bonham not passed and they just kept plowing. You know, that's a great question. That's something that like I've honestly never thought about before. But I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't just continue to grow because obviously if he was, you know, still alive, they would continue to tour and like make albums and that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they'd, they'd but, be like the, the, the Rolling Stones, but it's Zeppelin. Yeah, I mean, I think that like what Zeppelin is like just as big as Rolling Stones and yeah, stuff. Zeppelin's- but bigger than the stones come on oh okay well you were okay the way you worded that it sounded like no you were i meant like, no i just meant like they'd be just old dudes still playing oh yeah yeah for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure. so how old were you speaking of age how old were you when you're like okay I, i'm i'm serious like i'm gonna go down this path how old were you when you started like playing seriously So throughout like elementary and middle school, like it was one of those things that like I played because I really enjoyed it, but I never really fully considered a career in it. Mm. Um, It was when I got to high school and I started to like make videos and, you know, they, my videos started to, you know, gain some attention and stuff. Um, That's when I was like, wait. I can do something with this. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say like it was about middle school. I mean, no, sorry, high school when I really just started to um, consider a career. Yeah. As a musician. 
and, and so looking looking like back over the past how many years what what's a career highlight for you um career highlight well you just got signed to was it pearl i think you said you posted right yes um i you know it's funny because i actually this is something that had been in the works for like almost a year now um but because of like covid they were like so backed up with like orders and stuff um so it took me a while to get my kit and especially since um the finish that i wanted um they had to send it back to the factory oh. to do it um but mm -hmm. i am that is for sure like a career highlight definitely you know um seeing the hard work pay off essentially you know getting like the endorsements um yeah dude that's crazy yeah. like like i saw i was kind of just creeping on your facebook page and ray Luzier is like hey nice one brooke congrats welcome to the family like fucking corn like what's up like <laughs> it's pretty crazy it's so, yeah I think that that's like a definitely a highlight as well as seeing people from bands that I love reach out to me and be like hey like sick videos that's definitely a career highlight yeah. um playing shows and all that sort of stuff I love playing out live it's one of my absolute favorite things sure um what'd you say I said sure yeah of course yeah, yeah. lives the lives where it's at right yeah for sure definitely just like feeling the energy from the crowd and like getting into the music and yeah yeah all right brooke out, outside of music just for a sec uh, of course what you're known for drumming and and, and all that what have you yeah. been binge watching lately binge watching um okay i love netflix um but lately, I've been watching Gilmore Girls. Oh, it's been my go-to. What's that about? Um, it's like about this mom and her daughter, and the mom had her daughter when she was like a teenager, like super young, and it's kind of just about like their lives, and they live in this like small town in Connecticut. It's very like. I don't know how to describe it, but you know, it's like it was filmed in the um I think early 2000s. Mm. Um so yeah, it's just kind of like normal life stuff and yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Do you do you get into the the superhero movies, Batman, Superman, X-Men and all that? Um I am not the biggest like superhero person, but I do love Wonder Woman though. Yeah. She's Very classic it's it's pretty amazing it took it took some time for it to actually get a really good movie and a good following which was surprising i know because like when i was a kid you know i was like wonder woman for halloween and stuff yeah. and i would always watch um you know like the old episodes with uh linda carter yes with linda carter mm -hmm. um those were my favorite i would like watch those as a kid and what which superpower would you want to have fly definitely i would want to fly yeah it's kind of hard to get away from the the flight thing right yeah hey, what, sure. <laughs> what's the what's the worst job that you've had worst job okay so i am very lucky in the way where i've never had to work as like a waitress or any sort of jobs like that yeah um I really only had one job before and I was working at a gift shop pharmacy. Mm. So I'm going to say that that's like my worst job I had, even though it wasn't that bad. Well, you're like only because it's the so, only job I've ever had. So yeah, and it's not drumming. So it's, the... <laughs> yeah, totally. but it wasn't bad though. No, it's yeah. just, it's not drumming. So it's going to be the worst job. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Um, do you believe that aliens have visited Earth? Yes, I do. I um, I fully believe that you know aliens exist, and you know I've I'm big into like conspiracy theories. I love watching videos about all that stuff. Um, and I saw one about how they think that the aliens helped build um, the pyramids in Egypt. 
which yeah. is really interesting. Right, with like the precision um, uh, degrees and everything all lines up, and it's like, how the how yeah. did we, like we couldn't even with today's technology make it? Yeah, it's so weird too, because like I forget which stars because I saw this a while ago, but the points of the three pyramids line up with the three stars in the sky, mm. which that to me is also just crazy because like again like the precision of like building that so it lines up perfectly like mm -hmm. how what <laughs> what has to be and like i've talked to some people that believe that we present day live among aliens maybe i mean it's people that look weird i guess <laughs> <laughs> uh what 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 book are you reading right now so I'm gonna be honest, I'm not much of a reader. Yeah. Um, but I typically I love biographies. Funny, because and... if I could show you my screen, I'm I'm trying to bait you into this next question, which is recommend some autobiographies for us. Oh, okay. Um I recommend Debbie Harry's biography. I actually have it right underneath my computer. I have like stacked up books. So it's the same right height, um, yeah, yeah. but I have it right here. That's really good. Rad. I enjoy reading that. Um, I read Liberty DeVito's bio autobiography or biography, which mm -hmm. one yeah. it is. That was good. Um, John Bonham's is also really good too. Um, I haven't read that. Tell, like, I don't know how I haven't read that, but yeah, it's um, it's titled Beast, I think. <laughs> App oh. Aptly named. Oh yeah, like the sure. best, the best. <laughs> yeah. I I want to recommend for you because I knew that you'd be into this. If you haven't mm -hmm. read um, Sammy Hagar's, it's called Red, R E D, Red. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And then Life yeah. by uh, Keith Richards is like mm -hmm. speaking of the Stones, way back there insane those guys live live an insane life yeah yeah it's super interesting hearing about like how because you know i read about some of this in like the liberty devito book and stuff like like back then in like the 70s 80s like their touring and stuff is like so different than any touring that i've experienced right it's crazy yeah it's nuts right it's yeah. like holy man the stories are just insane in these books it's awesome and then like when I went on tour it like wasn't insane like everybody like in the books it's depicted that like everybody's doing drugs and like girls are everywhere and that sort of thing and like it wasn't like that when I was on tour <laughs> right times they haven't changed yeah um, I'll ask you a couple more and then we'll wrap it up and thank you again for for taking some time here to join us are you okay. a, a big sports fan and if so who's your team so i'm not really into watching sports it's not mm -hmm. my thing yeah. um but i do like playing sports i do enjoy sports um like in middle school i played lacrosse for a couple of years really where did you grow up there. um i grew up in upstate new york okay lacrosse yeah. hey yeah interesting it's that's one yeah. of canada's national sports of course if you knew that yes. or not but yeah, How, yeah. how's your golf game because i know that uh you know i've talked to i don't know thousands of musicians over the over my career and generally mm -hmm. they're usually pretty good because they got a ton of time for golfing do you golf much i have been golfing once <laughs> and it wasn't even an actual well yeah. okay that's not even counting like me going like mini golfing as like a kid I was um, gonna say, mini golf doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not counting mini golf but yeah. the one time that I actually did go golfing um I did all right I mean I think you know I mean I hit the ball I mean not very far but yeah at least I didn't miss too many times <laughs> golfing is one of those sports that's like very uh what's the word I'm looking for it's like you think you're it's easy because you'll hit one good shot but mm -hmm. it's it's an impossible sport it's an impossible sport yeah just from like golfing that 
one time like my respect for professional golfers went way up yeah yeah big time all right last uh question and i and i love asking this one i I usually ask everybody this one so i want you to share a near-death story where you're like holy shit i could have just died there near death Mm, trying to think okay i'm gonna go with this one um so growing up i used to race motocross um yeah um so this was i was maybe i was really young i was about maybe like eight or nine somewhere around there yeah and i was racing this was a um and i was going around this track that was pretty big and i was going around a corner and the way that I don't know it just the dirt was there and then they had just watered it it made it super slick so I totally slipped out and you know I hit my head pretty hard from just the fall itself Mm -hmm. um but when where it was in the track there was like a little hump before it so people couldn't really see over the hump so I ended up getting run over (laughs) by (laughs) another kid (laughs) on a dirt bike wow um so I had like I mean luckily I had on like all like the protective gear and stuff so yeah um I was fine but it took me a couple minutes to get up after that one and I was like shit that was fucking crazy (laughs) (laughs) I just got run over (laughs) oh my god I literally, I'm, I'm not joking either. I had like tire marks on my side too. Like, <laughs> oh my god, like, yeah, like big. weeks to recover, kind of thing. It, well, I was like a little kid, so like it took me like a couple of days, and I was like fine again. The quick um, bounce back as but, a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if I got run over now, it would be like three weeks, and I'd be like, oh, disastrous <laughs> at this point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brooke, what's the rest of 2023? looking for you like can we see you in a band or we more of the same on instagram and all these awesome covers like what's going on in your world so definitely you know you'll see me more on instagram and facebook and youtube and all that all the social media stuff um but i am working on a band and i'm really really excited to share more um I'm really stoked for it. We are going to be heading into the studio early spring. Um, you know, and yeah, I can't share too much yet. We're still yeah. working on it, but um, I'm going to be probably flying a lot back and forth from New York to LA to work on it. Sweet. And yeah, I'm super stoked and I can't wait to share more with everybody. Mm. so yeah keep a look out for that i hope i can share more about it soon nice well thank you again for for jumping on the podcast today brooke i'm a fan um it's been a real treat you're easy to find on instagram it's rock angel underscore rock angel drums on facebook and rock angel underscore drums on twitter yes but be warned i don't really use my twitter that much so fair enough is there <laughs> is there a website that uh you'd like to plug as well um i don't have a my own website but i have my youtube channel which is just brooksy so you guys okay. can find me on there awesome thanks brooke appreciate you doing this and uh we'll see I'm you happy. online okay yes see you Take care. thank you Bye.